Let's say you are working on a project and you need to find out the rank of payment method based on whatever amount you get. How to do this in Power BI? Hi, this is Krupali from Know How Academy. So let's start with me. So let me tell you what you are going to learn in this video. In this video, let me show you. I have designed one visual in Power BI which will show the rank of each payment method based on the total sell we did using that. So let's say here cash, using cash we get 10,936 rupees then using credit card 10,799 and installment plan that is we can say it is EMI we are getting 7,400. So we can say that cash is a payment method which is the highest rank and installment plan is a payment method which has a lowest rank based on whatever total sell we have did so i to do this i use a rank x function now let me tell you what is the meaning of rank x function when you want to find rank of something based on particular column in power bi at that time rank function is used now in Power BI, there are two different types of rank function. First one is a rank function and the second one is a rank X function. Both the function will give the same result, but the way of writing is little bit different. So in this video, I will show you how to find a rank using a rank function as well as how to find a rank using a rank X function. Okay, now basically, rank x function except minimum four argument now what can be the argument first is based base column base column means based on whatever data or based on which column you want to find the rank then the next thing is that some aggregation function aggregation function that is count, minimum, maximum, sum, whatever you want. Because uh, you know here in our example, we are finding the total cell. So to find out the total cell, we need to use sum. Okay. And the next thing is whether we want to give the rank in which order. Order means whether we want to assign rank in ascending order or whether we want to assign a rank in descending order. And the last thing is that rank pattern. Now, what is the meaning of rank pattern? Rank pattern means there are two types of rank pattern. Let me show you here. First type is dense. And second type is skip. Now, let me explain you what is the meaning of dense rank and what is the meaning of skip rank. Now, say here. If you see here the visual, here it contains the name of the person and the marks, whatever marks that particular students get. Now these three students get the same marks. So we are giving them as a one, 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 one rank. And the next person, Darshan, he is getting 89 or we can say it's a second highest rank. But we are directly giving them a fourth rank, not two three anything why because if we are giving the rank two here that is considered it is a dense method that means if three person are getting one 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 next rank automatically will be two so that is called dense rank but here you can see that here one 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 so basically one two and three so next rank can be four so that's why we skip two and three number in a rank that method is called skip method okay so let me tell you uh, if we are giving a dense rank and if two persons are getting the same rank it can be one one and then two three four five and so on but let's say if in skip rank if three person or more than one person are giving, getting the same rank, then next rank will be skipped based on how many occurrence. So let's say uh, in uh, in some uh, when we are finding a rank of something, we are uh, giving one and two persons are getting the uh, rank that is two. So automatically three will be skipped and four is given. And let's say four two times. So 5 is skipped and then 6 is given. 
so that way skip rank is working we do not need to worry about how it is generated we just need to understand which type of rank pattern we want in our visual so power bi automatically uh, do what based on whatever word you are writing whether it's a dense or whether it's a skip okay so how to find a rank of particular payment method using a rank x function so let me show you okay so let me take a new visual let me uh, make a chart okay uh, here let me give the same uh, look and feel so i'm go uh, format painter and doing it okay now here i am using a mobile phone data now mobile phone data contain the things that model buyer's name buyer's age and purchase price and so on so what i want to do i want to find out the payment method rank so payment method basically contain three things credit card cash and installment so which payment method on the first rank i want to find out that so first i will display the payment method okay where it is here it's a payment method. so in rank x function i told you that you need to first find out based column based column means based on what you want to find out the rank okay so in my visual payment method is a base column now the next thing is that aggregate function aggregation function means i want to find out the sum of the total payment amount which i received so let's say here uh, purchase price if i'm doing it so it is purchase price okay so automatically you are getting the aggregate value of that now the next thing is order whether you want to find out the ascending order descending order or rank pattern so let me writing a rank function so you need to right click on that and select a new measure and here i am giving a measure name as a rank of pay payment method equal to then i need to write rank x now first of all you need to mention a base column and remember when you are mentioning a base column that requirement must be there it should be present in your chart otherwise it will not give a correct answer i will show you the demo don't worry so here let me write down all and then inside all you need to write down a base column so mobile phone and here payment method is my base column then after that you need to find out the based on some value you want to find out that is aggregation function so sum then i am writing mobile phone and purchase price then what you need to do after that okay so here let me just uh, complete the all bracket here it's done uh here you need to write that whether you want to write it in ascending order or descending order so i want to give rank based on whatever the highest value is there it get first rank so here i am writing that uh, in descending order then i want to i need to write a rank pattern whether it's a dense or whether it's a skip so right now i am giving dense okay and then complete a bracket okay and let me just uh, take that measure rank of payment method but see here when i am give i write a formula correctly but here every payment method get a first first rank what is the reason for that i use direct sum next function here so let me show you i have already created a measure uh, here it's generating an error let me write it down again that is sum then mobile and that is purchase price so i have created a measure which contain the aggregation value of that okay so uh here let me go to the rank of payment method and instead of this writing here the aggregation function i will directly write a measure so total sell okay and complete execute now see automatically a rank is given that is highest amount will get the first rank then low second highest second rank and next so on if i write here ascending see what happened now see 
the lowest amount will get the first rank so based on your requirement you need to write ascending or descending order now let me show you here i have taken one another data set which will show you the dense and skip rank okay so for that uh, i took a sample data let me show you um, here this is the sample data which contain the name of the students marks and the gender now based on the marks of student i want to give a rank to that so here what i have written i have written a rank x then i write a name of that particular based column that is name of the student then i write a measure remember if you do not write measure directly write a function that is aggregation function it will it may give incorrect answer as you have seen that okay and then descending and skip if i am writing a skip you can see that 1 1 1 then 2 and 3 rank will be skipped directly it will start 4 5 6 okay so i need to write skip now let's say if i write dense what will happen now see here three persons are getting one and then two three four and five so on so rank next rank will not be skipped okay so this is the method of uh, writing the dense and skip okay now let's say other than base column if i mention anything in the table chart uh, let's say here i'm uh, mentioning the gender in table chart let's see what happened now see here it's happened uh, the rank is not changed why what is the reason for that because i have written here based on payment method i need to give but if i remove the payment method from here the rank will be something like see here 444 four, four, which is not correct why because if base column is not there in a chart it may not show you the correct result so you need to understand that your payment method should be there or we can say a base column should be there so you can get the same rank okay i hope you are getting the correct answer but see here one one two two three why because it is generating the rank based on this payment method and buyer standard okay but if you just remove the buyer standard it will generate a rank like this now i'm going to explain you how to use rank function so let me show you here uh, i have already uh, written a rank function let me show you now a rank function basically accept four argument but here little bit difference is there now let me write it so let's say here if you are using a rank function first of all what you need to write you need to write a rank pattern here rank pattern whether it's a dense rank whether it's a, a skip rank then you need to write your base column base column that is payment method and so on then you need to write a column what column name you want to give okay so that is a column name that is you can say that if we are generating a new column based on that rank what column name we want to give so column name we need to write and then after we need to write aggregation function aggregation function okay now aggregation function that is we have already created a measure for that you remember some for that okay so here the, uh, let me remove this rank from that payment method rank and let me write uh, write that it is generating the same result now what i have written let me show you here i have written first dense okay whatever your choice then i want to add one new column in that and that column name i want to keep it as a rank new okay so here it is given now let's say if i am writing here rank of payment method so it will display here like that rank of payment method okay and here we can give rank of So whatever name you want to give, you can give, okay? So here, then I write add columns. Now in add columns, I want to generate add column and the name of that column will be this. 
then base column you need to write inside the add column okay so all and then i need to write a name of the column and then you need to write a measure name now remember let me copy this and paste it in a notepad okay and let me just explain the how you need to write so it should be there first argument should be rank pattern now the second argument that should be add columns you can write all function but i want to add new columns that's why i am writing add columns and then inside add you need to write all function this one all function and you need to write the name of the column and the measure which you have created okay now let's do one thing instead of writing total cell the measure we are writing formula and let's see what happened okay now here sum then mobile phone and purchase price okay and complete the bracket now let me execute it here that is not generating any wrong answer after writing the measure or writing the dex function but in rank x function if you do not write measure and if you try to write a function it will generate a wrong answer so here that is not any difference you can see but in rank rank x function you see the visible difference okay now if the base column is not there in rank function see what happened okay now let me just remove the payment method and here let me gen gender so here it will not generate and generate a rank why what is the reason for that because here in this chart it is not finding the base column so if you remove a base column it will generate zero that means nothing as an answer but in a rank x function it will generate wrong rank okay so it depends on whatever what is your requirement you need to use rank and rank x function i hope you understand how to use rank and rank x function in power bi thank you for choosing know how academy as your source of it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world if you have any question don't hesitate to reach out us it has been a pleasure to share this information with you stay curious and keep learning